approaching the drop-off point. We're getting ready to float Salmon Falls Creek. What were you just talking about? So the guy that was encouraging us, he mentioned a few words that he should not have said, like white water, cold water, <laughs> emergency situations. He also said the highest it's ever been. Yeah, highest. Those words that he's just trying to scare you. Last words. <laughs> um, <laughs> pick us up somewhere, Moisey. Any last words? Yeah. Hey. Tell all my kids, bye. Smile, you're on candid camera. She is wearing an inflatable life jacket. They say that's going to inflate when they fall in the water. Well, we're not falling in the water. They're not going to fall in the we're water. We're going to be baptized. <laughs> I've already been baptized. And we're on the river. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. And there's my paddle from the bottom of the boat. And there's my guide. How do we get in front? I don't know. How do we get in front? What are we doing in front? Whoa, whoa, don't go sideways. Thank you, Dad, for the aluminum canoe that is strong and steady in the current. We've already seen one of our fellow canoes almost tip over. Communication with your boat partner is crucial because when he's holding onto a branch and you're trying to paddle, you don't go anywhere. It is right here. Come here. That is very impressive. The wind and how it affects us is going to vary because of all the different curves. Yeah. And they make it around the corner. Can you imagine this on a day when it's 20 degrees warmer and there's not as much water? Yeah. This is me not steering. This is a very twisty, turny creek river flood. <laughs> it's very quiet here. Very, very quiet. I walked right up along that side there. Well, it's good to see you guys. Mark was putting down a thousand feet down. Good to see y'all. <laughs> That's not a good sign though. <laughs> At the very beginning, he almost bought it. That's where that came from. At the very beginning, yeah, I saw you tip quite a bit. We're Hi, in. Karma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was fine until I heard the dam walk. I, I had myself convinced that it was a blocked dam, and then I heard it, and I'm like, oh no, that's a waterfall. Yeah. Right, there's real swift right there. I could tell my Debbie's face. Got sideways. Yeah, that, isn't that what you do? How did you handle the portage, Lee? Yeah, I think I'm all right. <laughs> Are we having a committee meeting? We got our apps up open, you know, so we know where we're at. Is that railing secure? We're going to try to put in here. 
but I'm having some sandwich first while we wait for everybody else. <laughs> We're back in the lead. Let's take a video of it. Ah! Oh, good job. Woo, real sweat. Two big birds there. Thank you. Nestling into a little cove. So they don't even see us. Steady, steady. What a turn. We're just having a little lunch. We're eating now. Yeah. Can you see that huge nest up on the side of the cliff there? Woohoo! Uh, you might want to watch where you're going. <laughs> Oh, they're going to go for the backwards. <laughs> oh no. I hope this isn't one of those videos. <laughs> Greg has one. Do you have one. a GoPro or do you have a GoPro? Yeah. Should we go too? Not in a rush. Well, uh. <gasps> they've all gone. Have an extra one in here? We do have an extra problem. Yeah. 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 Leave it to Greg to always have something extra. It got really quiet again. We might be two thirds of the way through, you think? I, I could be done about now if only there was a car to get into. Shoulders are getting very tired. My hips are cramping. But the sun has come out and no one else has capsized. We did just make a major hairpin turn. Our canoe tends to be a little bit faster, but it doesn't maneuver as well, so we had to really work at that turn in some fast current. So yeah, none of the really good footage is getting on camera. This is nerve wracking. I'm sitting here with my nose out. I'm barely up into the shore up and I'm feeling very vulnerable here. It's pretty though. Nice rocks, gurgly water, gentle brisky breeze. We seem to have reached the lowlands though. We're looking for a white truck, but all I see is mountains in the distance covered with snow. We did see a beaver though. That was fun. We pass about within 20 feet of him.
Oh, my God.